Howdy guys, and welcome to Broke Left Stick Games new series, Backlog Impressions. Today's game is Neo. This is from Team Ninja, uh, the guys who made the Ninja Gaiden, 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 whatever you want to say, I don't care, I'm not judgmental, series. Uh, they are bringing out like their Bloodborne, Dark Souls, or what do they say, Born Souls, or Blood Souls, or their own rendition of it. Um, as you can see, all these games typically sealed. We had one that wasn't because it was sent by GameStop off from their online store and said it was brand new. The disc was in perfect shape, but it wasn't sealed. So we're gonna pop this one open. Get all that nice plastic off. <laughs> There's a Horizon uh, insert in there. There's the disc. All right, as always, I'm not gonna dig into it in the uh, Video which can be gameplay and so forth. We always appreciate you guys' comments. Please like, subscribe, and enjoy the gameplay. All right, after that cool little cutscene, which really felt like a Dynasty Warriors kind of opening uh, with the Team Ninja vibe, uh, pretty pretty darn awesome. This has an auto save feature. I, I, I think we all know that at this point. You know that's gonna have an honesty feature. They should only post them that they don't have honesty features. Um, yeah, it looks okay. I'm not gonna mess with it. Stabilize this frame rate. Stabilize the resolution at 30 frames. Let's let's do action mode. I think that sounds smarter. Okay. Yes. I'm also playing on the Pro, so if it looks a little bit better, probably because that's why. Um, anyway, saying, why is my PS4 doesn't look this good? Eh, it's probably just the Pro and boost mode. Alright. So, new game. A lot of people talked about this game when it was first released, and be even before. To the far east lies the Pagu, a land brimming with golden plows and sparkling jewels. Kublai Khan, ruler of the Mongol Emperor, sent a large army there, but the warriors of Zemhegu used miraculous stones to put that a strong defense. The travels of Marco Polo. I watched the Marco Polo series on Netflix. It was horribly distraught. They canceled it. I don't know why. Why did you do that? It was a good series. I really liked the guy who played um, Genghis Khan. It was really, really cool. I'm Rita. So, might jump past this. Just letting you guys know, don't want to ruin the story for anybody. really like the little fire that's burning in the bottom right corner as the loading. Um, partially, like maybe possibly saving checkpoint uh, little animation. It's really uh, designed really well. And uh, sometimes loading things are just like a stupid bar. And I think it's so silly when it comes down to it. All right, here we go. We're gonna continue. The Tower of London is an opposing fortress built by King William, the first in order to keep London safe, and is still since gone on to be used by the prison of traitors and execution grounds for criminals. Londoners believe that the many crowns living within the walls will abandon it. Were to abandon it, the tower would collapse, and London itself would be destroyed. All right. There's like a branching uh, storyline here with uh, uh, pictures of English, uh, Victorian kind of pictures of queens and so forth like that, so kind of different. I wonder if we're going to get another cutscene. You can definitely tell the Team Ninja vibes with the uh, just the animation textures uh, from the bars and the stone walls. Definitely has a Hayabusa uh, Ninja Gaiden kind of look. Wow. We've been hitting through a lot of good games today. Won't stop chasing me. Okay. It's okay. It's uh from the beginning scene it looked like it was gonna be a little bit more polished. The character looks really polished. Move the camera I get I get that basic stuff, guys. Strong attack, regular attack, quick attack. And then open circle. Door seems to be locked. So we just wait. Oh, 
Така. I don't know what they're getting at here. Oh. from the mortal coil. I think that's so cool. So we're gonna retry. And if you wonder why I died beginning the games, it's because I suck, first off. And then secondly. Okay, so it's, I, I'm just gonna figure out the uh, stamina system. That was a little bit of a, a thing too. Now let's see, how do I equip stuff? Equipment. Like not with the sword. Well, we don't need to. That's a lot better, guys. Open. Look around the dungeon a little bit. That's where I bopped out. This might be our first uh, save point. For all I know, it's a search. Guard and dodge. L1. Okay, so guard is this. So it has a little bit of Dark Souls with the guard, and then it has a little bit of Bloodborne with the dodge. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm not feeling the graphics as much as I felt them in like Bloodborne. I like the lighting effects. I think they might be cooler than Bloodborne. But the character looks like he's in a different zone than the area he's running in. Like the lighting hits him, but it looks like his his shoulders are way too white. Nope, and the game is a little dark. Just in general. Chest over here. So maybe it can dual wield? Let's see if I can. Oh yeah. I can dual wield. Oh no, it's a one and done. That would have been so cool. Alright, nothing there. And then sprint. Hold X down. Very uh, ninja-like thing. I would see the new Ninja Gaiden being uh, just like that. Now that I know the uh, stamina system, it should be okay. This game is killer dark, so I'm gonna jump over here. System. Screen brightness. Please. Yeah, that's a little bit better. That was, I mean, I know this might be a little bit washed out for you guys, but it's better than me not being able to see whatsoever. So that's a coat. I'm not a really big fan of, uh, I'm so used to it being an auction, and they keep putting things on the touchpad instead. 
I wish they just would leave them where they were. On the start button, so. Now, I don't know if I just got randomly generated stuff already or not. I'm gonna put my sword up just in case there's something up the stairs. It's definitely a very pretty game. Just, it, he just does look a little bit out of place. He looks a little bit better now with the clothes. Thank you. Nothing in that corner. It's like a Dark Souls 1 archers. We don't know how to hit. You caught us. That's a little bit kind of crappy AI there. Very cool so far. I'm really digging it. For some reason, my little timer I have went off. I saw it. Got a good the London guard. It's like a mix. I wonder what the story uh, design is. Um, I got kind of the common sense of it, but new items. Quick. Quick. I right, look a little bit better now. Moseying my way. I'm a little close to death, though. I'm not a big fan of that. So we are going to take one of these medicines. That's a little bit better. Okay, go back up on the stairs. Now, I don't know if it's permadeath. Didn't check that. But what's up here? Kind of ghoulish kind of team here. We'll come back to him in a little bit. I saw the little uh, ghost lady uh, leave me and kind of run and do her thing down the flight below, so we'll go back down there. Where are you, little lady? Oh, there she is. It's like a little shrine. Pray. Nah, maybe this is the save point? It looks like it. Could be a save point. I think it's just a health regen. chest. I don't know about running a battle axe. I'm a big fan of swords. 
if we continue to play as some VLSG plays, um, let me know what you think I should play with, guys. You think I should play with swords uh, or axes? Just tell me. And we'll do it. On the next one, what's the worst? I Me mean, get my butt kicked by a guy with a uh, you know with a weapon, and I'm running an axe, or if I'm running a sword, it doesn't really matter. Either way, I'm gonna get my butt kicked. There's only a limited amount of Amrita we can extract from this country. Not really good now. Oh, a hat. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, I look ridiculous. I hope everybody's happy. Yeah, dude, you gotta be sure. I'm not liking how the camera, like, I'm running a lot of right stick here to be in control for the camera. Bloodborne player, so um, I play a lot in that style. So those want me to play like guard style. I'm not a big fan of that. I like my quick games. Ooh, I don't like that though. That's scary. Anytime you open up a big door, you should always be scared of the game. Ah, oh, look at this! It brings me right back to the health thing. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, I wonder what happens when they go downstairs. That's pretty darn cool. Let's go down another floor and see what happens. Okay, so I'm like outside. I don't know if I want to be yet. There's my gloves. All right. Now I got the whole set. There's my gloves. And then I'm gonna change my first sword. Wow, look at that. I just wonder how slow it is. That's a, like a B plus attack. That's crazy. I don't know how good that is, but it's B plus. It's got. Now there's a there's a yellow boot to London. So this rant real 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 random for uh, boots and all that stuff. Just need uh, the yellow pieces of the sat the coat and the trousers, I guess. All right. Escape the Tower of London. And this appears to be the, the tower. Hey, dude. Whoa. Right, right, right. Ooh, two dudes over there. And you best believe they gonna die. I am definitely liking this. Uh, I wonder how good this loot system will be in comparison to Bloodborne. Because I always the one thing I didn't like about Bloodborne is uh, over there. I'm, 
screen turned off. Um, the one thing I really liked about, didn't like about Bloodborne, is the fact that your gear, you're pretty much running the same gear until you do a lot of different, uh, inner quests in the game, and you can finally get some different kind of gear, but it's, it's a little difficult to get all of it. This is really better. Yeah, I guess it's a little bit better. Yeah, I want to wear this. I like everything to be like yellow. Alright, let's see if we have any more loot here. There you go. I'm liking the rain on the ground. It's pretty awesome. Now, there's a lot of different ways to go here. Oh, crap. I'm one of those people that take the risk. <laughs> okay, not worth the risk. Not worth the risk. He one-shot me. So, this reminds me of the beginning of Dark Souls 1. When I got Dark Souls 1 the first day, uh, my buddy went to the left, and I went to the right, or the middle, and there was a skeleton path, and it was the wrong path. Do I get to keep my gear? I get to keep my gear, but it does start me back a little bit. It starts me back at the point where I saved. Life has been freed of its mortal coil. I want to finish this. We're going to finish it. We're going to finish it the fast way. Since I already opened the gate. Let's just pop out. Really? There. We'll try this one more time. We'll get it. We'll get it. Get down there. Oh, there's the outside. Yeah, the sword is really ridiculously fast. Kind of reminds me of Onimusha, the way the orbs are and so forth. There's a chest over here I saw called the Lightning. So a little bit of a trident there. Something over here. Look shiny. Looks like I might be able to escape from the top of that tower. How can I get out? Uh, uh, let's do this.
this even any game I play. I always forget loot. Look, there's the hat. Do I have the whole set? I need the coat. chest down there. I'm always a big fan to try to find one of those. Let's see where to go. Not that way, guys. Let's see. This is just to see if you're good enough to do this shit. And I've been freed of my mortal coil. We will see the end of the tower and maybe the next BLSG plays. It's been fun. It's been enjoyable. I'm not frustrated. I realize I play enough Bloodborne, enough Dark Souls. But I call Freed from the Tower four times the end of my day. So, my takeaways from Neo. The character looks a little bit disoriented from the area he's in. Like he's not placed in, like he's placed in that world. Outside he looks a lot better. I really like the gear system for how they throw in the items that you wear. Um, the play is there, a mix between Bloodborne and Dark Souls. It's pretty fast paced. Uh, the enemies can be dumb if they're stuck on a wall. Your sword can be dumb. Uh, there should be different animations when you're around a pillar or something. It shouldn't always be huh, to the right because it's so predictable. It should be left and right. And if a samurai was standing beside a pillar, he wouldn't hit the pillar. You know, he'd stick the sword straight. So that doesn't make any sense. I could see like them doing that um, maybe later on. If that's in the future patches, guys, let me know. Um, if you like what you see here, please like, subscribe, comment, follow Sabrokla Stick on Twitter. We appreciate you guys checking us out. We're going to be doing a lot more of these BLSG backlog impressions. We look forward to seeing you there. Thank you.